news! We finally made it after like a year of sorting these reviews. Yeah. We made it to the season one finale <laughs> of six episode <laughs> season. Yeah. Wow, we took a long time. <laughs> we did. Like a whole summer almost. Yeah. And a year. And a year. A summer <laughs> and a year. But anyways, we're here. Yeah. Uh, welcome to our review of the season one finale, TS-19, which stands for Test Subject 19. Yes. And there's a dash in the middle. Yeah. Fun fact. We can't forget about the dash. Yeah. So... So our heroes have finally made it to the safe haven. Right, it was CDC. Yeah, that place. <laughs> and so we meet the mysterious... The Doctor! No, not that Doctor. Oh, okay. Different Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. His name is Dr. Janet Edwards. Edwin. Edwin! It was Edwin. I thought it was... J okay, never mind. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> and so... Edwin, Edward, the doctor, the, the doctor <laughs> just tells them that, yeah, this is Globa, that the world is doomed, mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah, just have as much drinks as you want. And they asked him if there were any other disease centers that could have worked on a cure, and he said he didn't know for sure, but last he heard it was France that was the last to, that oh. anybody knew anything about. So... What happens next? Uh, so Andrea is still upset about Amy and doesn't help to learn that the entire world is over, that's yeah. dead, that there's nothing left, unless you're in Washington. Or Antarctica. Yeah, you would, <laughs> yeah, you would think, because zombies <laughs> cannot move that fast yeah. in winter. Maybe, maybe people in Canada are safe too. What about astronauts? Actually, in *Fear the Walking Dead*, there was astronauts. Oh, okay. But you can't really get back, and yeah. you don't have that much. That'd almost be food. worse. You're trapped in space forever, actually. Yeah, with slowly. Yeah. So like gravity. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Except she made it back in gravity. Spoilers. Nobody wants gravity. So let's get back on topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so what happens is Shane is drunk, tries to assault Laurie. Yeah. She punches him. Scratches him. Uh, scratches him, which is what he deserved. And so we cut to the and during this time, uh, Rick is drunk as well, but he's talking to the doc. Mm -hmm. And he's like, he's like, yeah, thank you. I didn't have that much hope. I think we were going to be goners. Yeah. So thank you, man. We owe you a lot. <laughs> so the next day, most of... Most of the group is suffering from hangovers. Mm -hmm. And the doc <laughs> just tells the group to follow him. And he shows them uh, what happens when someone reanimates. Right? <laughs> it's a brain scan, was what they showed. Yeah, a brain scan of these electrons? Electrodes? Electrodes? Synapses. Brain stems. Yes, brain stuff that happens inside your brain. We can't. Yeah, we're right not now. scientists. We didn't pay attention to biology. <laughs> <laughs> and so, what happens is your brain shuts down, and like the parts of your memory centers and your intelligence mm -hmm. parts, from what I understood. Yeah, your most of your brain shuts down except for like the basic movement yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and uh, a few hours later, it depends. On what kind of person you are, mm -hmm. like, can you can come back like three minutes or eight hours later? So yeah. that explains Amy. Yeah, that's why it took her like the whole night to come back. And so what happens then? Uh, the brain, a part of the brain, reactivate, but it's like the primal forces. Yeah, the primal, very thoughts. basic instincts, yeah. like eat and walk, is pretty much it. Yes, and the only way to get rid of the, to put them down is by shooting them in the head. Yeah. So, our group is like taking all of this information, like fun, getting a bit of answers, not what caused this, because mm -hmm. no one knows how this caused, but we, we thought about this. We think it's like a bio weapon. Yeah. That's what we thought, because it's airborne. Yeah, and it's kind of, I don't know how many natural diseases were airborne, like diseases that just kind of came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. 
No, I was gonna say it was the Black Plague everyone, but I think no, that was, that was Yeah, that was caused by yeah. rats and fleas. Yeah. And so, Dale noticed a countdown. Yeah. And he's like, um, I, I don't want to ask another question, but yeah. uh, what's this big ticking clock supposed to be for? Yeah. <laughs> and so the good doctor says, uh, yeah, that's going to blow up the building. That's the mm -hmm. countdown to blowing up the building. Like, they don't have, because they're off the grid and yeah. the force of fields are not, is a limited supply. Yeah. And they can't exactly get new, new, new power. Guys. Yeah. Uh, so the building's going to blow up because it's a CDC. Yeah. And there's a lot of dangerous viruses, bacteria, that has to be destroyed if in case they were ever released. So, yeah, that's why the building's going to blow up. And the good doctor traps everyone inside the building, saying that this is... A, because you go out there, there's a good chance none of you are going to survive. That mm -hmm. this is where... This is... a. Uh, a mercy way out. Yeah. Yeah, it's the <laughs> mo it's the least painless mm -hmm. uh, all the deaths that can happen out there. So we so Rick is like everyone's trying to get him to open the doors. Like we have Shane and Dara trying to threaten him, mm -hmm. which wouldn't work if he dies. <laughs> then they you, can't open the door anyway. So not a good threat. Yeah. So Rick tries to connect to his humanity. Trying mm -hmm. to say, give us a chance that this is our choice and we don't want this. Yeah, and then the doctor reveals why he has no hope left and why this was he's okay with it was because his wife, who was like the head of the CDC, I believe they said, yeah. she was the head of the program, she got bitten and volunteered to be a test subject for them to try and cure it. But because he was the only one left, he was like, she was possibly the only chance that they had of carrying it. Because she was like the smartest out of all of them. And he only went on because she asked him to go on. Yeah. And now he has no hope left. All his samples are destroyed. But Rick convinces him to let them choose their own path. So he opens the door. Uh, one of the members, uh, I think it was Jackie, decides to stay yeah. behind. <laughs> and uh, Andrea is also like... He's right, there's no hope. Mm -hmm. So she decides that they want that Andrea's going to stay. But Dale's like, no, if y'all stay, I stay. Because mm -hmm. I'm not letting you do this without having a consequence to yeah. your action. Because, because they kind of developed like a whole, like Andrea and Dale, it was kind of like a father-daughter daughter kind of situation. Yeah, And it's like that... Dale's like, there is always hope as long as you have people nearby. That's what mm -hmm. I got. Yeah, or at least people that you care about are still around. Yeah, so uh, as this is going on, Rick uses a grenade to blow <laughs> up the window. Yeah. And so they get out. They run to the cars. Shane goes to a jeep, <laughs> which... <laughs> has no roof or windows. He just, like, ducks behind the door. <laughs> so, right before the building's gonna explode, Dale and Andrea run out. Yeah, last and, second. <laughs> yeah, and they duck be behind some sandbags. Yeah. And so, uh, the building explodes, and everyone's okay. Well, as okay as they can be, mm -hmm. they are seeing the zombie apocalypse. But, you know, I kind of do like the ending to this episode. And not, they're all going. Yeah, the same direction, yeah. but they're all going away to a new goal. And because they, because the producers were not mm -hmm. sure if they would get a second season. Yeah. So it gives them a chance to add in a conclusion. It's really but, open. Yeah, yeah really open-ended. In a good way. Yeah. But lucky for uh, the show, it got in seven yeah. more seasons. And I also think this was the second time, technically, if you count last episode, where they had a non-zombie related, like, conflict. Yeah. Instead of it being zombies and surviving them, it was more about how to deal with humans that are also trying to survive zombies. Uh-huh. It left it open-ended for more episodes, and it was a very more personal episode for the characters. Yeah. Which was more interesting, because that's what The Walking Dead soon became in the later seasons, mm -hmm. about the stories about these people trying to survive. So I think I give this episode an uh, 8 out of 10. Yeah, I would say 8 too. This is one of the better episodes. And even though none of them were bad, but it's still like above the others. Yeah. Uh, so, we finally finished season 1. <laughs> if only we had confetti. Yeah. So, probably sometime, 
hopefully soon, we yeah. begin the season 2 reviews, which mm -hmm. has more episodes. <laughs> so probably going to take us longer. We'll see you in about 10 years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm the Dynamic <laughs> Deover. I'm Wish Monkey Gaming. Until next time. See you later.